Alright guys, hey, welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Tech It. This is Scrotitis, and today we are here to uh, have a little bit of fun here. Last episode, I'm sure you remember, we were working with our um, blue power items, We uh, or blue, blue electric... Uh, items we did some things we did water pumps we did some things with some fluid pipes and today we are going to continue that um, we've got a project uh, in the works here guys that we want to uh, use what we started last week to kind of to kickstart this week's episode okay so our project over here was as we recall was our um, our water our water pump station. We got our, our solar panels and our, our battery box down inside there powering our water pump. And we were pumping water over there last episode. Well this episode we are gonna be powering we're gonna be pumping water over to our power facility. And you may ask, why would we do that? Well, we are going to experiment with some um formations of water mills today. I think um, previously that I may have misunderstood how they uh, work and I think this would be a good opportunity to sort of maximize the formations, the areas that we have, as well as increasing our power output which is sorely needed uh, specifically in the macerator shop. So uh, Right now what we're doing is just extending our fluid pipes from the uh, pump house. And let's see, I think we're getting close here. We've actually already done a good bit of leg, leg work off camera, guys, because I want to sort of get right down to the point this week. Uh, uh, one more. No, one more still. <laughs> there we go. And we're going to go straight across to there. Oh, I might have given it away right there, guys. What we did was, and we'll put a support leg here, maybe one there, uh, to make it look more realistic. But uh, for the time being, we can just have some hovering pipes. Um, I may put a bracket in, too. That would look kind of neat. But we are running this up to... Uh, oops. Hmm, you know what? Well, let me go over this first, guys. This is our array of water mills. This is our second level storage uh, power plant. I'm thinking this is what we're going to use to power our mass rare shop, is going to be this entire level. I want to repeat this pattern for the entire floor if possible. Now, the reason I have a wall here, uh, and you guys got to stick with me on the math here a little bit, but. Um, we're going to continue to use, and I don't have them with me right now, but below we use the ultra-low current cables to uh, pass the currents along. And down below, the setup with, with the setup that we have down here, it's, uh, we have one water mill surrounded by a 3x3 three three water source block um, array. That will provide a maximum of two EU per... T or, I'm sorry... 0.25 EU per tick. Now, four of those strung together, uh, what's uh, four of one-fourth is one EU per tick. And that's what is going into this battery box. Okay? Not great, but uh, for the time being, we thought it was pretty good. We had four of those, and each one had their own bat boxes, and life was, was what we thought was pretty good. Well, we upgraded our macerator shop and we saw life was not real good. So I've done some research and some planning and I realized you still need, uh, without passing water buckets into the water mill themselves, there's an interface here with water buckets that I was thinking about messing around with, but I like this setup better. Um, so what we're going to do is each, each water mill is still going to have its 3x3 three three water source blocks surrounding it. But what we're doing is, uh, for the term of efficiency, we're sharing those source blocks. 
okay and what that's going to do is allow um, a tighter more compact uh, situation plus then we, w w how many we got here we got one two three four five six seven eight right two four six eight yeah we've got 16 water mills here so quick math down below four water mills was one eu per tick this is going to give us four eu per tick and we're going to load this all into one battery box as well as we did down below that battery box is going to feed directly into our macerator shop right across the way there um, the reason we don't have another row two reasons uniformity I like uh, the way this looks here, but also we um, the ultra low current cables can only handle a max of five EU per tick, and that would only allow four more water mills, and so our our layout would be lopsided. So that's what we've got here, and uh, the second problem that we were going to have was uh, filling this. And you know what? Why don't we get to that in the morning uh, when we have some better lighting? All right. All right, guys. Well, morning's here, and uh, we got a little bit of stuff done while you were away. Uh, I apologize. <laughs> I just uh, I got a bad habit of doing work. I'm sorry. You know, I can't control myself. So anyway, next thing that I need to do is um, I need to throw up a little bit of a safety net here. Uh, I don't know if you guys saw my last episode when we put the uh, water state or the water pump together. But uh, it overflowed really quickly, and this is gonna going to uh, prevent that overflow from happening over here. So uh, let's just run it one more, and then uh, you know what? Let's use all we got all these all these fluid pipes. Let's use them. So that's not what we need. Okay, here we go. And we're going to attach our grate right like this. Ta-da! Got better at that. <laughs> and get some security up here again. Overflow protection. We're just doing it with dirt. Um, I built these, uh, these tanks so that they uh, sort of sit down in the floor. I don't know if you can see that from this angle or not. I thought it was, it was kind of neat looking to give them this sunken in feel. That ought to do it. I, I like being neat, so yeah. So yeah, here, let me show you real quick. Um, right here, this half slab is the uh, actual floor level. We took it down one more. If you can see, we're sitting kind of below the floor, and it's right to the limit of those pipes, or of those wires down below the ultra ultra low wires. We actually couldn't bring it any further down because there wasn't any room. Um, so yeah, that's what we've got going on down here, guys. If you guys are ready, I think I am. We've got everything set up to go ahead and start pumping our water over. We've got our, our buff buffer guard up. We've got all of our water mills ready and primed. Um, we don't have our bat box hooked up yet. <laughs> We need <laughs> we need to take care of that. I think it's gonna be right off of this side, and we're gonna want the output facing this way. Is this? Let's see how this is gonna run. It's gonna be here. Yeah, I think we're gonna want this here. So, is that level? I think that is. Up there. Yeah, that'll be perfect. I think, yeah, we're going to put that in the wall just like we did below. Alright, so let's go start pumping our water over. This is the, the fatal flaw in the design, is having to come all the way over here to turn it on. So there we go guys, it's getting water already. As you can see it going through the pipes and there it is filling up. Now, uh, the reason that we had to do this is because this pumps over full um, water source blocks and if you try to fill this up with buckets, 
I could get as far as the top level, and then I had a hell of a time getting it to work, to fill out, and I realized I set this up poorly. Hold on, we gotta go turn it off. We are actually sitting one block too far down in. Hold on. We're gonna have to do a little bit of plumbing work here, guys. I just saw this. Um... That top water block is going to go at this level, and our grate is sitting at that level. I don't know if that would have an impact. I'm thinking, I'm thinking so though. Let's collect these pipes up real quick. And our grate real quick. And we're going to have to do something like this one. Two, three, like that. Plop that on. Is it hooked up right? Nope, nah, not two for two this time, guys. Nope, we'll get it. There we go. Okay, now let's go turn it back on. But you see how quickly that got filled up? Almost, it's over halfway filled already. There we go. And if you notice, we're not losing any water because of the source blocks are able to replenish themselves. I tried to show this last episode, but it <laughs> filled up and overflowed too quickly. But we're not losing any of our source blocks over here. And we're filling up. We're now at the uh, water mill level. And again, guys, if, if you're not certain... If it is a water source block or not, you can see the difference. Right here, this calm sort of back and forth texture, that's a source block. Whereas these ones with the, the wavy currents on them, not source blocks. Okay? And here goes our last level. We're filling it up. And then what we're going to have to do is when we overflow a little bit, <coughs> excuse me, the uh, dirt will hold it in, and then we'll just have to destroy those... Uh, those source blocks with these extra dirt blocks. We'll just place them wherever the, the extra water is and, and we'll get rid of them that way. But uh, we'll, as you see, we're filling up nicely here, guys. Filling up nicely. And we're basically getting water from nowhere because, like I said, those source blocks are staying put, which is, which is really cool. You could probably do this with a much smaller sized uh, pool than what we have, but... I just wanted to make sure that we were able to, to get enough water for this project. Uh, and like I said, I'm going to actually repeat this process, if this works, probably three more times, if not four more times. So that ought to do it there. We got extra? Yep, we're getting extra. Let's go shut her down. And we should be good. Okay, shut off. Pump's not moving. Let's see what the what the battery looks like after use. Uh, let's get down there. So it uses from this one. Okay, I, th th this uh, battery box, this blue electric battery box, is a new concept to me. So I'm still curious on how it works, trying to learn. But uh, that's how the pump works. That we've got down pat, guys. Let's see how much extra we have. Not too bad. So to get rid of this, I'm just going to place these dirt blocks where I see um, water source blocks to clear them out. We should be able to then just to go back through and knock all these source or all these dirt blocks out, and uh, the water will be back down at level. Now, unfortunately, we have to, uh, you're probably saying, well, those weren't source blocks there, but, uh, funny thing about the way water works, and, um, how, how water works and, uh, source blocks when they're on top of water already, they, they, they act really funky, and so that's why we had to, uh, oh, 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 shoot, 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 shoot. That was not supposed to happen, guys. That's part of the flaw of having um, 125 being your Minecraft version. Unfortunately, the um, half slabs are still incredibly sensitive 
two uh, pickaxes. In um, in the newer versions of Minecraft, the ones that, that everybody's playing now, other than Tech It, um, those uh, those wooden pla planks wouldn't uh, wouldn't be destroyed so easily with a, a drill or pickaxe. So let me go ahead and just pick up all these dirt blocks because I am anal like that, fellas. Sorry. Um, and we're doing a horrible job of picking these up, aren't we? Another way you can tell that these are all source blocks is that we're able to ease right through the water. Nothing's pulling us one direction or the other. That's a pretty easy way to tell that you've gotten full source blocks as well. But uh, this is a pretty good look at what we got going on. And the uh, next thing we need to do now is set up our ultra-low current cables. And they simply go on the top of each water mill. Now you place these by holding shift and uh, right clicking on the water mill and it'll place. We are going to have to remove this because, um, come on, we need that um, for our, um, those blocks are going to, or that space is going to be needed for our cables to be run down. So. Let's go ahead and get this side. Plunk. 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 You get the idea, right? I should be actually putting two up. Um, the reason that we have to go up one more is so that we don't ruin the center water source block. Remember, they need a 3x3 three three cube surrounding them of water source blocks. And I guess the ultra-low cables don't negate from that, or... I guess the math just figures that something has to be connected, so. All right, guys, sorry about that break. Uh, let's go ahead and get these all connected here. Whoops. And you know what? I think I thought I made enough. I had to cut because I didn't think I had enough cables, and it looks like I still don't. Plus, we want this to be one lower. Um, I want to conserve space this time. Last time we had those, uh, we had those super high above, and this time I just don't think it's necessary. So let's go ahead and bridge the gap here, connecting all these. See, now we shouldn't have to worry about any sort of explosions because the... Oh, yeah, we're definitely low on... Shoot. All right, let me go and uh, make some more cable here real quick. Shoot. We got copper, but that's not what we're using to set up. The reason I want to use the ultra, um, ultra low current cables is also because the... Um, It doesn't lose its, uh, it holds its charge. That's what I want to say. Well, the, the copper cable is, is, is really poor at holding its, uh, its charge. And, the, and the, this is actually really, really positive at holding it. So, that's why we're using this one. And actually, you know what I'm thinking, guys? We can run this. I was thinking about having this here, but if we are going to have multiple setups here and save space, we're going to have wall, and then what is this? Five blocks, right? One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, wall. So one, two, three, four. Oh, son of a gun. How is that going to break a block? I tell ya. Let's count again here. One, two, three, four, five, block. One, two, three, four, five, block. One, two, three, four, five, block. Okay. So we have room for... Okay, so our central point would be between these. So why don't we run... Um, I don't know if this, this... This should be okay. If we run one battery box, right? Actually, we're going to have to go up one. 
Uh, we'll leave it on dirt because I think that level is actually going to be... There we go. Okay. And that's facing the proper way. And let's go ahead and take this out to there. Yeah, that works. We'll go one, two, three, four. Last time I put it in the wall, but I'm thinking maybe this time we'll just put it right like this. And we'll have all the different run... Alright, so let's see how fast. Holy cow! <laughs> okay, so this is what I wanted to show you guys, and I, I, I should have been paying closer attention. But look how quickly that's filling up. And uh, I want to then compare this to what we have going in the Macerator shop now. Alright, so... Let's do a count once it gets to 2,000, see how long it takes to get, okay? So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, four. Okay, so about 13 and a half seconds, we'll say, to fill 1,000 EU. All right, now, I know this isn't ideal because we've got machines running off of them. So let me first get these shut down. I wanted to make sure that these were empty so we could see them getting uh, getting power. But uh, let me empty all these out so they're not sucking any juice from our battery boxes. Okay, that should take care of that. Now, we don't want to look at this one because, uh, you know what, they're still filling up those. All right, you know what, guys? Hold on one second. We'll wait until all these masters get their uh, their electricity back up to running speed, and then we'll do our test, okay? All right, guys. Uh, we're back. And as you can see, each one of our macerators are fully charged. They're ready for work. So let's check out what our bat box has available in it. And as you can see, it fills about 30 EU and a bunch, right? 30, 60, 90, 20, 50, 80. Yeah, so it's about 30, maybe a little bit more than that. But mind you, uh, now it is losing some of its power running through here. None of it's going here. That's full. Um, but that's actually coming off of this entire line of battery boxes that's feeding off of all those so I think one thing we want to do first is I'm gonna allow this to just feed there so let's cut that off alright so we don't have to worry about that power anymore actually what we should do is just pop that off. We'll, we'll figure that out. And that may be something that I figure out on my own too, guys. But let's go ahead and check out this again. Just crushing it, right? So, here's the real test, alright? What I want to do is you know what? Let's just get rid of that. Let's just cut it off right here. We'll just say, you know what? You kind of stink for power. And I need to figure out what the optimal running length is for copper cable. Well, actually, what we really need to do is um, get some 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 good cables. Is what we really need, uh, glass fiber or what have you. But uh, let's go ahead and fill this. Just connect it right here for now. All right. Now let's go see. Holy cow. Now let's here's the here's the last test. I want to run these with that juice going. They're all going and I want to see if that continues to climb up or go down. Now we have to let it run for a little bit, but 
It's actually still climbing, and that's just with the one array, guys. Now, obviously, I'm sure we get these electric furnaces going, and that's going to be a whole other story as to uh, as to what's actually going. You know, if it would be able to sustain it or not. But um, oops. Still got some of that there. What we got in this one. And what we got in here? Tin. No, that's silver. That's iron. Tin, tin, oh well. Um, all right, so it is starting to go down some. All right, so it's not perfect yet, guys, but as you can see, it is a lot more powerful than what we had before. Pumping out, um, let me see, one line. Actually, you know what? That, this one cable, this one battery box is the equivalent to the entire downstairs. If you think about it, right? So we had we have 16 battery or water water mills running there on in this one tank, and um, each one has four here. Four times uh, four times four is is going to be uh, <laughs> the same amount. So we have 16 down here, uh, only three of which running into that and being split between our sorting facility in there. Uh, compared to one tank of 16 over here, more compact, more powerful, running into one bat box, uh, and then running over here into uh, our macerator shop, which it's not enough to run both guys, and I didn't plan that one to be, but once we get that whole floor running, and I'm, I'm probably going to redesign the bottom floor as well. I don't see the point in um, in cheating us, uh, cheating ourselves out of that uh, that potential for power. It just doesn't make sense. Whenever space-wise, it takes it takes almost the same amount of space up. Uh, but I think that's going to be the most efficient um, and and organized uh, array of water mills that you can have for for the space and look uh, obviously like I said this ultra low ca cable uh, is very uh, very good at not losing uh, power through it which is why I chose to use it plus we are producing a very low amount per water mill and if you do this sort of design with the uh, alternating lines and you know what we could do we could actually have each one of these run individually Well, we'll see what sort of array we want to do with battery boxes on the top here. Well, what I was just thinking is each one of these lines could actually have their own their own cop, uh, cables coming down, and then we could have them uh, going to different boxes if needed. One could come straight down into a box here, um, or two, and then, you know, so on and so forth that way. Actually, yeah, I think that, that might be the ticket, guys. The more that I think about this, we could even take this wall out and have the entire level with this design and then just have our, um, have each each level or each row its own. Where'd that cable go? There it is. And just do this. You know what I'm saying? Like this. And each one running off. We obviously would need more uh, tin cable, but it's it's extremely inexpensive, so I don't think it would be too hard to do. But um, 
yeah guys that's gonna do it for this episode uh, I was really excited about getting this done and testing this out I thought my theory was right and uh, I gotta be honest guys I'm pr oh you know what this is actually wrong um, they wouldn't be connected here yeah that 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 that, that would be wrong they would be <laughs> it would be coming off in a straight line here and then um, if we wanted, we could then uh, run this off of a different one, or we could have it connected right here. You know, or I don't know if the, I don't think that'll connect them. Oh, it does. For the time being, that'll work. But um, yeah, I think that actually will be more more efficient. And you know what? Next episode, I might show you what that looks like uh, because I plan on having this done, and hopefully, it'll be enough to power our macerator shop then. Um, if not, I do have a plan for our biofuel that we made. Uh, the initial plan for it running the, uh, the macerator shop was not the best. I'll admit it. it, it, it uh, it's not the most powerful like I was planning it would be or hoping it would be. But um, what I think we're going to get out of it is going to be a pretty awesome backup system. And I'll explain that a little bit more uh, in one of our upcoming episodes because that's that's definitely a plan that I want to uh, I want to initiate because I think that would be really functional. But uh, like I said, guys, I'm going to call it quits for today. This has been Scro Titus, another episode of Let's Play Tech It. I hope you guys had fun. Hope you learned a little bit. Hope you liked what I'm doing here. If you do. Uh, and you don't mind, give me a like in the comments, guys, because that's really helping me out. Uh, so anyway, like I said, this has been Screw Titus, and I will check you guys all in the next episode. We'll see ya.